Welcome back, and this is part three of my video tutorial on turning Windows 10, to, I mean XP, to Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard. Now, the first, this is the optional, and this there is a link in the description for parts two and one. There will be a link for all these downloads. But first, before you do download what's in the description, you need TuneUp Utilities, which can download. You can get a 30 day free trial off tuneup.com or like tuneuputilities.com or something. Once you do, let's let's uh, just go into all programs, tuneup utilities, and we're just gonna click that and continue testing it. So, now there's a bunch of stuff. We're gonna go into customize windows and boot screen. Now we're gonna go to the website I have open with the boot screen in. Hey, look, it's my own YouTube channel. Put with the boot screen in it. Leopard boot screen zip, and we're just gonna click here to start download. Your download is starting. I already downloaded it, and it's right down here. So I'm just gonna click that, and it's gonna open up because I have Google Chrome, which is awesome. Okay, leopard boot screen. Just gonna double click it. And there's Mac OS 10 Leopard. And then there's 2 and 3. I think 2 is the best looking one. So I'm going to choose 2. But choose what you like. And you're just going to double click the TBS. And it will pop up there. You can also go back. Let's say I want 1. TBS. Continue testing. And boom, it'll just... Oh, sorry. It'll just appear right there. But I like Windows too. So what you do when you find the one you want? Oh, sorry. Let's say I have this. So let's say you find the one you want. I want Leopard 2. I'm just gonna click Apply, and boom, it'll apply. Trust me, this works. Next, we are going to go to Log On Screen. Yeah. And you're going to go on the website provided. Leopard style logon screen by Rats GUI. And you're going to go over here and just press download. You're going to save. And you're going to click on it. Logon UI EXE. Extract to documents and then okay. And then I'm just gonna minimize this. Then you're gonna go into log on screen and go on to add load screen from a file documents log on UIEXE okay. And this will appear, and boom, you have that, and that's, and then you're just gonna apply, and use the text of the selected logon screen. It looks really nice. So that is how you change your boot screen and logon screen to look like a Mac in Windows uh, Windows XP. Now your computer is completely a Macintosh. And I would like to say that you are an epic win. Watch parts two and one. Goodbye.